All right, what's the update on Discovery and Time Warner? Well, I mean, there's, you know, there, there's, there's uh, the merger is happening and it's taking effect. And it's, you know, the new people are being put in place and there's fear of massive layoffs because of duplication. And, you know, one of the things is, is that uh, Discovery, which is going to be running this, um, that they are historically not a company that looks to spend a lot of money. So how this all goes down, I mean, it's anyone's guess. And what this means as far as AEW goes is is anyone's guess. Um, but it, it, it could be very, I mean, it is very significant to AEW. We just don't know how yet. We don't know if the new people are going to look at the ratings of, of uh, wrestling, you know, or the ratings of AEW and go, well, these are good ratings. Like the Wednesday show is really good. Um, and, you know, give them a, a big new contract. I don't, I don't see the contract. You know, it's like, I know everyone thinks they're going to get this giant contract and they might, but they need to be, they need to get another bidder in there. Um, and they need to make a streaming deal. Um, you know, which has been talked about forever. If they have a, I think that if they have the, the TV show and a, a streaming deal, and it can be one of those things where there's data that proves, cause everyone's looking at the streaming, you know, HBO Max and everything is being like, you know, the potential big moneymaker down the line. That if they can get on an HBO Max and have tangible proof that they are moving numbers, they will not get axed. They will keep the TV at that point. I'm relatively certain um, because it'll be one of those things where the whole synergy with the whole company and everything. But I don't know. I mean, like, you know, the the TV deal is not that far away. I mean, it's uh, end of 2023 when this deal expires, which means that late 2022, early 2023 is going to be the negotiating period. So, um, you know, I mean, obviously, it's very incumbent on AEW to really heat up in the fall. It's very important for them to heat up in the fall and look like they've got momentum. Um, but, you know, a lot of things are going to be looked at, and it's not just ratings. Um, although ratings are obviously are, are a key. And, you know, if they get a deal where they can stay on and maybe get a nominal increase... Uh, it's going to be very tough because WWE is going to get a big increase um, from USA. I'm vir vir virtually certain. And the thing is with Discovery, it's like they are going to keep the, you know, they, they're, they're already locked into this NHL deal for years. And they're going to do everything in their power to keep that NBA deal because the NBA deal is, um, and, the, and baseball and everything. You know, the big sports are going to get their money. And... If there is less money in television, they want to make cuts, and the big sports are going to get their money. The middle sports, and AEW would be considered middle sport, um, they're the ones that may suffer in this, to, to, you know, despite ratings. Um, so uh, that's not as for sure, you know. I mean, but but this change, um, you know, I mean, this change will be a very very significant story come oh you know nine nine ten months from now because that AEW deal is going to be probably the most significant uh pro wrestling news story or if not you know one of the most if not the most significant pro wrestling news story of you know the you know probably of 2023 because um, that will determine how competitive they can be as far as how competitive AEW can be as far as negotiating for other contracts. You know, there's like, if they get a big increase, you know, some of these guys like Kevin Owens who, who stayed with WWE that, who was very open about being interested, but they were not going to go into the millions and millions for, for Kevin Owens, you know, at the level that, that WWE did. And, you know, there's a lot of guys um, who have, you know, considered and not, you know, AEW has not spent big. I mean, they spent big on Adam Cole and Brian Danielson was a big, big deal, obviously, to, um, you know, to them. And, um, 
you know, so the and and uh, some of the other deals, obviously, um, when they start coming due, you know, the Omega is next year. Uh, Moxley, I think, is is coming due. Um, some of those deals, you know, that are going to be very expensive. I don't know that Moxley would ever go back to WWE. I mean, based on what he has said, I, I think that one's unlikely. But a lot of these guys, um, you know, like, you know, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, obviously the one who's talked about the most and everyone brought up the name. I mean, when it comes to that, you know, if they get if they get a hundred million dollar or a hundred, you know, a hundred million dollar TV deal, um, I would suspect that, uh, there's a real good chance that, uh, Max Friedman gets a great deal from AEW and doesn't go. If they had a $45 million deal, um, that could make a very big difference when it comes to, to how much they would be willing to spend to keep him versus how much, uh, he would get offered elsewhere. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.